today we're hanging out in Lumpy's Garage and in this video we're going to show you how to do a brake job in a 2011 uh, Dodge Caliber. So we'll show you the procedure and all the tools you'll need along the way. So we have a 2011 Dodge Caliber. We're going to do the front brake pads and change the rotors on it. We'll start by taking the caliper off. We'll collapse the piston, check our caliper pins, and we'll replace the rotor. Off. So this is the caliper pin. It's a 14 millimeter. It has a little black thing on the rubber end on it. A lot of times they only have the rubber tip on one of the pins. So you want to make sure that you put it back on the right one. This one's on the bottom. So we'll set it there and we'll take the top one off and see if it has one on that one. Okay, and this one does not have one on the top. It's only on the bottom. So they have a synthetic caliper pin lube out now, which I highly recommend. It's got a higher heat tolerance to it. And we'll go over that when we put this back together, but you're gonna to wanna to load this up with the caliper pin lube, stick a little bit inside the boot so that when you push it back in, it'll squirt a little bit of the grease out. Um, and that'll help to make sure that it stays lubricated. If the caliper pin hangs up, the braking pad can get um, worn down prematurely. So it's very important to make sure that these are lubricated properly. Okay. So we're going to take the caliper off now. Now you can take the tool. This is a single piston caliper. And then we can slide the tool inside onto the piston as a wedge. And then as we push it in, it's going to collapse the piston for us and help us make this go together a lot easier. And you can do it this way, or you can use a pair of vice grips or a C-clamp to collapse the piston. See now my piston is all collapsed. I don't have to deal with it. I can rest this up here. Now, we're gonna get the brake bracket bar off of here, take this off. Now there's still some meat on these brake pads, but the customer's hearing noise with them. And if you look at the brake pad and you feel the, the rotor, it's all rigid, it's, all, it's not smooth at all. So she's not getting good braking surface out of it. She's also getting a squeak complaint. So there's really nothing we could do. If you turn the rotor, they're like $20 to turn rotors, you're just better off. You know, I bought rotors on Rock Auto for less than it would have cost me to have them turned. So we went with the new uh, replacement rotors. So now I'll get the tool to take the brake bar off. We'll change the rotor, and then we'll reinstall the brake power with the pads and the rotor, and we'll go from there. So we have an 18 millimeter socket. I'm doing half inch drive to take this back the bar off. Lean down on that, crack them loose. Get the other one over here. That one loose. Okay, so we get the caliper bar off. We'll sit it down here. And we're going to take the rotor off now. If you look at the inside of the rotor, you can really see, you know, the cracking and everything. And these rotors are basically porous steel with a coating on them that they refinish. And over the years, the steel, the coating wears off of them. So you're getting these black spots on them now. This rotor could not be turned. It's it's junk, and then it wore uh, unevenly, so you can feel all the ripples on it. 
that's not going to give you a good breaking surface. So um, we got new ones for that. All right, so we're going to clean our spindle hub bearing surface, make sure this is clean, rust free, and then we're going to take some never seize and we're going to put some never seize around the edge here so that the rotor in the future, if we have to take it off, it won't be seized and you won't have to smash the back of it to get it off. That's all you need for that. Now we're going to go clean the rotor. Uh, the, the oil that they put on the rotor for packing, we're going to clean that with some brake clean and a rag. We'll stick that on, use a lug nut to hold it on, and then we're going to put our brake pads and the new clips on in the, in the caliper bracket. The rotor has like a slime on it for, you know, shipping and, I mean, for storage purposes. So we're just going to take some brake clean, spray around it, wipe it off. We're really only concerned with the surface of the rotor that the pads are going to ride on, come over, make sure that's nice and clean, trying not to grab onto it with your fingers, you know, everything's a little dirty here, so, you know, grab it, I'm going to stick it onto the vehicle. Got our caliper pot here. <clears throat> Knock the pads out. You're gonna have clips for your warning pads here, um, so you can kind of remember the way the origin of it went. And then these clips are gonna come off. And let's get our new brake pads and see what they gave us for clips. And we'll pry these off, and we're gonna get a little wire brush and clean out the inside trays before the clips go on. So okay so we got our brake pads here and here's our new clip setups. We're gonna make sure that these aren't different. Sometimes they are. Be the same. So on these, we can remove the clips, getting underneath them, prying them off. And I like to lay everything out so that you remember how it went, you know, back together. build up rust inside them so you really want to get a little wire brush and get these clean so we can be ensured that our new clips are going to sit down tight and not have rust scale underneath them which if there is that will um, tighten up the brake pad from sliding easily how these came off like this. Now these are going to go on like this. They have a centering point in here. Okay, that's nice and tight and you can see your side view here. It's down.
Just making sure they're sitting the same way. They seem like there's a little space there, but that's the way the old ones were, so. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the brake pads. I fit them. Okay. And we're going to put the, the caliper pin lube on these now. Nice coating in here. At my job or store, this um, Permatex um, disc brake caliper pin loop was around 11 bucks for the tub. It's well worth it. And we're going to use this inside the boots as well after Sometimes these things pop out on you, you know, as you're trying to put them together, so don't get discouraged. Okay, now our bolts that we have over here, I'm just going to put a little never seize on these. You can load this on, we're putting one on, the pad on first on the inside. We'll bolt it on and then we'll put the other pad on. You can also put two in right now. Sometimes it's just easier to get the one in there and get everything caught. Get this in here. We'll get this lined up. Okay, it's in there. Now I'll put this other one in over here. Lock it into your tab, push it down. Okay, so both of these are in place now. Try not to touch the surface with your fingers, so you stay away from that. If you do get any surface, anything on the inside of the surface, um, you can take some sandpaper and clean it, and that'll just take the oil off of the brake pad. So now we'll tighten these all up. And then we're going to pack our caliper pins. I'll make sure that's good and tight. Now remember we said our caliper pin here, we had one with the rubber on it, that was on the bottom one. 
So we want to get these caliper pins all lubed up before we throw the caliper back on. I like to stick them in there before I put the caliper on, run them through. Now you get a little extra grease that pops out like this. I take my finger, run my finger across it. When you pull this off of the boot, you can fill the boot with that grease now. And that's gonna stay inside the pocket in here now. You force that down inside the pocket. See how, the, how it just expanded? There's this grease in there now. We'll do the same thing to the top one. Finger across it. Like I said, you want to just load these things up. So okay, that one be ready to go into the other one. Pop this one back out. We'll load this one back up. At this point, we're going to take the caliper after we lube these up and slide the caliper back on. We've already um, collapsed the piston on the caliper. We're going to take our caliper now, roll it over, and make sure the hose is not twisted. Actually, we're going to take a little bit of Nevesis and we want to put it on the inside here where it touches the brake pads. I like to put it on the uh, piston because you're trying to get something on the boot of the piston to keep it from dry rotting. And if you can put some Nevesis on there, it'll help prevent that from dry rotting. And then this piston, when it touches the brake pad material, there won't be any squeak. They have a, a padding here, but I always put this on just in case. Now you want to make sure that the hose doesn't have a kink in it and it's fitting on properly. You slide it on. You obviously collapsed it enough. So you're going to hold your boot in and then get this other boot in here. And then we take our, remember the one with the black tip was the bottom one. So we put that one in there, and then the other one is the top one. We slide through the hole in here. And then we'll take our ratchet and we'll snug these up. When you start catching these, you know, if you have to wobble the cow for a little bit, make sure you catch it. It's fine threads that should go in nice and easy. Before you tighten anything up, you make sure that you catch both of them. Okay, that one's caught. I'll just run them down. Okay, that's tight. Now you're going to just take your excess off. So it's a nice clean job. When, when you go out and drive this vehicle, you're gonna have um, a little bit of a smell. Normally the coating that's on the rotor leaves a little bit of smell. If you decide to clean the inside and the outside, the whole thing. But by the time this thing gets warm, um, that'll burn right off and there won't be any issue with it. But after you first do the brake job, you will get a little bit of a smell. Once this heats up and cools down, then we can it. And I'm going to take some brake clean. And if there's any schmug, um, some schmeg on this thing from my fingertips, we'll just wipe that clean and that'll be it. 
Give that a little spray. Make sure there's nothing on there. You can spin your rotor around. It's in pack, so I won't spin some. <laughs> spin this around and we're clean. Caliper pins are tight. The caliper bracket bolts are tight. The hose is in the proper thing, so there's no kink in the hose. Um, and we're all back together. And we'll on to the next side. All back together. And we checked everything is tight and secure and the hose is in the right direction. So we're going to pump the brake paddle to get this piston to come down and hit the brake pads. And that will relieve the fluid. Now then we'll go over and take the other side apart. So we, once we do one side, we pump up the brake to get the brake pedal firm. And then we go after the other side. We normally don't do both of them together. Some people do. We do them one at a time like that.